Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, where Universal Studios has finally announced the rest of the Halloween Horror Night sign-up for Hollywood. The sign-up unfortunately includes no shows yet and no scare zones. Well, we have one scare zone, but um, the other two scare zones have not been announced and the two rumored two shows have not been announced, but the rest of the haunted houses have, so let's go over the full lineup with you right now. Alright, so we're going to start from the top and go all the way to the bottom here um, and announce and start with some old stuff my thoughts on it and then go to the new stuff so the first of us is gonna be the last of us <clears throat> one of two headliners for the event this is gonna be based on the game and guests will be struggling to survive against fearsome clickers bloaters and more from the naughty dog and playstation award-winning video game after watching the tv show i'm very excited for the last of us although eh, i'm just not as excited as like the weekend or something but i think the last of us could be, do really well and uh, it'll be popular for sure the next Big headliner, I'm actually very excited for, um, but a little skeptical, skeptical of, but hopefully third time is a charm. Stranger Things 4 is coming to Halloween Horror Nights, as you guys know, based on Season 4 of Stranger Things. Annual pass holders will get a chance to walk through this maze with the lights on on September 13th and September 19th. Um, as part of Annual Pass Holder Appreciation Days, you can RSVP for that in the coming weeks. But man, if they're going to show it off to everybody, they must really, really like how this maze is looking. So I'm excited for it. Vecna is a scary, scary guy. So I, I think they can actually make this pretty scary if they wanted to, unlike the last ones, which were just kind of glorified to walk through. So I'm very excited for Stranger Things. The Exorcist Believer, I'm excited for as well because we just had The Exorcist in 2019. So I'm glad it's not just the original again. While that's a great house, I'm just excited that this is based on the sequel, and this will be kind of a spoiler to the maze because the movie comes out in October. Of course, he'll be able to walk through this house in September, just under a month from now, September 7th. So, this will be kind of a spoiler maze. So, I'd say actually avoid this maze or house if you want to see the movie first. But if you don't care, then you can see parts of the movie through this house and then uh, watch the movie and see uh, kind of see how it matched up with the house. But the description for this guy uh, for this house is saying and it invites visitors to a terrifying new beginning in horror as two families battle a sinister demonic, demonic force that has possessed their young daughters so basically what's going on in the movie there so i'm excited for the exorcist believer because it's something brand new then we move on to our universal monster maze that is going to expand on the monster's legacy with horror icons like invisible man dr jekyll and mr hyde the Phantom of the Opera and the Hunchback of Notre, Notre Dame. And this particular house will have a section where you're walking through the Paris catacombs as John Murdy shows some concept art for that in the Midsummer Scream house or panel, which looks really cool. And that could be pretty scary because the catacombs are kind of scary in general. So in fact, they'll be walking through them in the Horror Nights house and they, he showed a picture of the actual house that he took. And it looks pretty realistic. So I'm actually very excited for the Universal Monsters maze. Universal Monsters, they've been killing it with the past few mazes, um, with Legends Clyde last year, Bride of Frankenstein the year before, and kind of every classic monster maze is pretty, pretty freaking awesome. So, I have no doubt that this maze, this house, sorry, will continue to be um, amazing and go on that tradition. Also, music from Slash, uh, the Slash will be doing the music for this house, which will be quite cool. I'm very excited for this next one, Chucky Ultimate Kill Count, because I love Chucky, and I've been hoping for him to get a house for so long. He's been on the host of the Terror Tram. He's, you know, he's a photo op last year. Um, so I'm, I was very excited for him to get his own house, and I'm so happy that it was announced immediately last year in November. And now the full name of the house is Chucky Ultimate Kill Count. It'll be in the Carrie Shorts parking lot. And... He'll just be he'll probably trying to escape a whole bunch of good guy, good guy dolls as they try to slash you. So hopefully it's a creative house. I haven't seen the TV series, but I, I believe it's based off the TV series rather than the movies. But nevertheless, it should be still a great maze. Next up is a house that was rumored to come last year, but the movie got delayed. And I think um, there's some contract issues, but Evil Dead Rise is going, is going in the Walking Dead spot. And... If you realize the Universal's Horror Hotel, which is the original maze they made, or house they made, they made last year, because they couldn't get Evil Dead Rise, looks eerily similar to Evil Dead Rise, especially if you see, saw the movie. Um, but in particular, the bathtub scene. You can see just the trailer, and the bathtub scene sticks out from the trailer as a literal scene from Horror Hotel. So, 
this one is probably a nice cost saving move on Universal. Horror Hotel wasn't a bad, I loved, it wasn't a bad house, I loved that house. Very detailed. So Evil Dead Rise would probably be just as detailed, it will just probably be very very similar to Horror Hotel because a lot of the scenes um, were from a last minute change when it was supposed to be Evil Dead Rise. So. I hope you guys aren't disappointed. It should be good because again, it's not a lot. There wasn't weren't any black walls in that house, if I recall. So, it's a good house. So I'm very excited for it. And uh, puts as again anything better. Anything is better than The Walking Dead over there, in my opinion. So I'm glad Evil Dead Rise has a chance to finally shine after it couldn't make it last year. And we're moving back up to or uh, next to Evil Dead Rise is Monstros, the Latin America house, which have a whole bunch of Latin America creatures. Um, legends and stuff um the three of them specifically and you walk through each of their layers which we saw lots of concept art for in the midsummer screen panel panel from john birdie so very exciting this one will exit into a scare zone that is themed to latin america monsters just like the house is so the facade for this looks absolutely gorgeous and i'm sure if you watch my channel if you watch these updates you've seen the house and lace update where the walls are down the font is so detailed uh, probably one of the best facades, if not the best facades, for Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood has ever had. So, I'm very excited for this house, just based on the facade. It looks absolutely gorgeous, and it sounds amazing as well. After that is Holidays in Hell, which is a returning favorite from 2019, I believe. And that was a cool maze that started off again as a scare zone a few years ago, or several years back. Then got upgraded to a house, which was nice. And I'm not sure if it's going to be the same thing, or if it's going to be some different changes or enhancements i hope so it's always nice to if they do a repeat to have some enhancements in there so at least it's not exactly the same as it was a few years ago but even if it is it's still a good house it's, it's cool going through the holidays in a creepy way so should be fun to walk through the house again for the first time in quite a while and lastly here the terror tram which got announced today the terror tram exterminators which the spec man got right remember first it was this was supposed to be terror tram celebrities and i'm like what is that i was like confused now it's terror tram exterminators which i'm still not i'm still kind of eh on the theme but if it's anything like you know the bugs maze or the bugs house at orlando last year or if that's what it's leading up to like if we this is a test and people like it then next year we get a bugs house uh I believe it's called bugs eaten alive or something like that that will be really really cool so i think exterminators this concept is much better than whatever celebrities concept they're pitching before. Um, so I'm very excited for it. Um, anything to make the Terror Tram fresh and new. It looks like there's multiple facades this year in the Terror Tram. So hopefully that will freshen things up a bit. But also we can walk through the sets of Nope again. They confirmed that in the press release. So that's awesome because that so far is by far the best part of the Terror Tram that I've ever, ever have experienced. And that's it. No shows yet. And no, the two scare zones are still unrevealed so i have to reveal those two scare zones and potentially two shows definitely one in the water world area potentially one in dreamworks theater so we're we waiting for those announcements we have less than a month to go september 5th is when the tm preview team member preview starts so everything has to be announced by then so the next couple weeks that should be coming in now that we have all the houses um they may be still trying to find a theme for the show or casting for the show i don't know maybe they want to just have wait for some reason but I'm excited for a show that's not the Jabberwockies, as again, many of you on this channel know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you miss the Jabberwockies? Are you excited for a show in the Waterworld area as well? What do you guys think of this house lineup? Do you think it's stronger or worse or about the same level as last year? I don't know. I really liked the weekend last year. So, it's going to be tough for me. And Scarecrow is really good, plus La Llorona. But, um, this seems like a pretty solid lineup. I'm excited for Stranger Things 4 on the last of us and the monsters maze as the monstros maze as well those four seem really solid um there'll be themed bars uh themed food like the surf sport pizza from stranger things 4 uh the purge themed bar on the lower lot um there's a peacock bar on the upper lot as well as a chucky themed bar on the hollywood and dine seems like more food more themed food than ever the dia to where this Mertos is coming back in the plaza which is awesome um, I really love that setup they have going on there. So it should be an overall very fun year. Get your tickets. Express tickets are already selling out um, for the first couple of weekends. I'll do a separate video on ticket options and availability and all that good stuff. And a Halloween Horror Nights tips and tricks coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, subscribe for theme park updates. Subscribe for more updates on Halloween Horror Nights. 
press that thumbs up button and share it to all your friends who are planning to go to Horror Nights as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this whole lineup so far and have a scary evening.